Hi there, I'm Robert Osborne. It's June, and as long as summer is busting out all over, we figured it was high time to keep living a little and loving a little with Elvis Presley. As it happens, it was a little past June in his career by the time Elvis made our next film, Live a Little, Love a Little, in 1968, but his fans still couldn't get enough of Elvis in the movies at this time. And among his fans, one of Elvis's biggest admirers was his film's director, Art Director of the Month, Norman Torog. Torog had been directing movies since the 1920s, and this next movie is the last one he ever made. By 1968, he just had enough of the grind, but he always said he was very happy to be able to take his final bow directing a man he thought as highly of as he thought of Elvis Presley. He directed eight Elvis movies by this point, but this last one, number nine, got more attention than usual, not because it was Norman Torog's final film, it was because after years of Elvis giving interviews, insisting that his fans would never see him in a movie in a bedroom scene with a woman, this movie changed all that. Yeah, in Elvis Presley's 28th feature film, you'll see him in bed with the lovely Michelle Carey. But nothing shocking. It's all quite innocent, in fact. Hey, it's Elvis. This movie, by the way, is based on a novel by Dan Greenberg called Kiss My Firm But Pliant Lips. Try to write a title song for that, however. Which is why the title for this movie was changed to Live a Little, Love a Little. Here, from 1968, the last film directed by our director of the month, Norman Torog. Live a Little, Love a Little. Well, after directing nine of Elvis Presley's movies, Norman Torog decided to call it a day. He'd started directing when silent movies were making the transition to talkies, and he'd had a great time directing some of the film world's most talented people. But by 1968, Torog felt the film industry wasn't what it had been and never would be again. It was a whole new world out there, and he didn't feel he belonged to it anymore. So he retired and went to UCLA to teach film study courses and loved it. He was able to immerse himself and his students in the very films he'd spent a whole lifetime making. And one of the films that's usually studied in any good film course is coming up next. Not directed, however, by Norman Torog. It's Jean Cocteau's Beauty and the Beast. Next. Turner Classic Movies is open all night. Jean Cocteau directs a French-language fairy tale in tonight's TCM import, Beauty and the Beast. Then Nancy Sinatra keeps an evil eye on Elvis Presley's activity at the Speedway. And our special tribute to lovely Maureen O'Sullivan begins with The Barretts of Wimple Street. The stars are immortal on Turner Classic Movies. <laughs> 